Windows and Gaming. Hello everyone, Palamogrin here, bringing you yet another tutorial uh, on how to manage to find your router uh, in the network. So as you see here, if I go to the network, I can see my router right here. So the first way to make sure it will uh, work is just to go to your router's homepage. If you don't know the address, uh, it should be very simple, just to Google it. So when I'm here, make sure you're logged in as administrator. If you have to log in, uh, the username is most often username or admin, all in uh, small letters. And the password is usually password or admin. Uh, if they aren't, someone has probably changed them. So here for Thompson users, just go to this page, toolbox, game and application sharing, and make sure use UPnP is on yes or enable. So we can go ahead and click that down. Uh, what you'll want to make sure as well is to that you go over to the control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, and then change advanced sharing settings make sure that network discovery or identification is uh, enabled or activated uh, you can probably have all of these activated also make sure that they are activated publicly and uh, as well as home or work Uh, so another way is to go to the control panel once again. This time you want to go to system and security, Windows firewall, and advanced settings. So here you'll want to go to uh, rules for incoming traffic and just scroll down to till you find network identification make sure that all of these are enabled I'm not sure if you all really need all of them but ha I have them uh, enabled just in case if they aren't uh, enabled you won't be able to find your network so the final way uh, to find your uh, router uh, is to go to click start, type in services.msc, press enter, and here you'll want to find SSDP discovery, which discovers uh, routers and stuff. Make sure it's it's started. As you see here, mine is on. If this isn't uh, wasn't enabled, uh, I wouldn't be able to find my uh, router. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to try them out yourself, uh, you can end the video and watching the video. Uh, I'll just dem go ahead and demonstrate the that these you have to have these enabled so let's just go ahead and inactivate this one I actually have to inactivate it I can't stop it because it uh, uh, starts itself so let work there you go as you see no router is here go ahead and put this on manual and start. And now you see the router is on or uh, is viewable. Okay, so we're done with that. Control panel, network sharing. So if I inactivate this one, save. I'm not able to see anything here. 
I think in my computer. So yeah, that should be on. And if I go to uh, the uh, firewall and change the ones I showed before uh, into active, inactive. Let's see here. These ones, if I go ahead and inactivate those. Once again, I can't see anything here. So go ahead and activate those. Or the router's home page. Go to toolbox. And now I'm going to go ahead and this. Uh, what is it? L Disable, <laughs> that's the word, uh, disable uh, UPnP, and what did I do now, configure, uh, press, uh, I can't see my r router here, so yeah, that's uh, hopefully it, um, if you s have seen this first before the first one, go ahead and check that one out as well. It's uh, it's one other uh, alternative way to uh, change so that you can see your router. So yeah, uh, hopefully this worked for you guys. Uh, if not, I will have to find yet another uh, way. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and sticking out to the end. Uh, so go ahead and try this out. Talibakoken out. Bye.